Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Obaseki's APC members formally joins PDP. Hello, wonderful people. How are you doing today? A very warm big thank you to every one of you out there. We bring a shout out to you. Thanks for your continuous and always supportive uh, position. We really appreciate you. God bless you. We all know what has been going on with APC in Edo State, which is formerly dead anyway. Um, and, um, you know, APC has formally pushed out, you know, those who are still uh, members of the party trying to stay. For Governor Gordon Obaseki, we are all aware they did not really want to leave until all that happened with Oshomole proving to him that he has to leave APC. Anyway, some members who are still loyal to Governor Gordon Obaseki, people like Aslam Osoje, still stayed on, but gradually APC has pushed them out and they have formally joined the People Democratic Party. Let's hear all the twists and turn with all that has recently happened. Obaseki's APC members formally joins PDP. Parista Aslam Ozoje, Edo State APC factional chairman, member of the Edo State chapter of the All Progressive Congress APC, loyal to Governor Gordon Obaseki, on Wednesday announced their resignation from the party and formally joined the ruling People Democratic Party PDP in Edo State. Recall, the party was divided into two factions in the twilight of Obaseki's first term with Aslam Uzoje heading the faction loyal to the governor, while Colonel David Emerson retired, leading the faction loyal to the former national chairman of the party, Comrade Adams Oshomole. The Uzoje faction continued to lay claim to leadership of Edo APC, even after Obaseki left to PDP and was re-elected under the platform of his new party for a second tenor in office. But following the dissolution of the all-state chapter of APC by the APC National Critical Committee, the Imoso faction of the party was recognized and appointed into the state critical committee, now in charge of the administration of the party in Edo State. During their deflection on Wednesday, Obaseki loyalists, who were led by Uzoji, cited loss of confidence in the national leadership of APC and disobedience to the party constitution as their rules of dumping the party. Ozeje, who further announced their intention to join the ruling People Democratic Party in the state, said the resolution was reached at the enlarged meeting of the State Executive Council, ESEC, of APC committee members and the chairman of the all the local government area chapter and all the leaders of the party in the state. The resolution, which was signed by 22 executive members of the party, led by Mr. Aslam Ozoje and ch chairman of the party across the 18 local government area, said over 150 of their members and supporters have concluded plans to leave and join the People Democratic Party with them. Having reviewed the said activity, particularly the romance between the National Critical Committee leaders of a parallel group called the Edo People Movement, EPN, who have now paraded themselves as members of the All Progressive Congress in the state, in spite of their suspension from the party, it is thereby further resolved that all our members should join our leader and members who have earlier relocated to the People Democratic Party, PDP, with his Excellency Mr. Governor Gordon Obaseki and his Deputy Right Honorable Philip Shaibu. Consequently, we encourage determined members and leaders of the all levels of the party, numbering over 150, to also renounce their membership of the All Progressive Congress and come and join a leading and true leadership position. So, my people, this is exactly what is happening right now as we speak. Edo APC is no longer APC, it is EPN, Edo People's Movement. And this um, EPN group has finally, you know, uh, succeeded in pushing out members. It shows that APC is a really dysfunctional party. How do I mean?
A party that does not recognize the leadership at the lower level is not a party a force to be reckoned with or a party to join in any way. Adam Sushomole, the party, all started, the whole chaos started, uh, you know, during Obaseki's first turn or just before his rounding off. And um, the matter continued. And guess what? The leader then, uh, Barista uh, Aslam, kept sending messages to the headquarters saying, this was going on in APC. Uh, we are having division. Uh, Oshomole is doing this, is doing that. Guess what? Not a single response from the national. It continued until we all know what happened. Obaseki finally left uh, with Oshomole pushing, uh, pushing him out, completely out of the party. Today, like they would say, the party is in disarray. Even the APC in a do state is not regarded as APC. It is regarded as EPN. So, I mean, there is a lot going on. If you are not on a shameless uh, cup of tea, you are not uh, anybody in APC in Edo State. And to make the matter worse is that APC is not the ruling party currently in Edo State, all thanks to Adam Sushumole. And you know, when God fights for a man, all that happened with Governor Gordon Obaseki was not ordinary, I can assure you and tell you 300%. It was not just ordinary. You could see God fighting for the man. How do I mean? Do you know that the United States of America, Donald Trump, sent a letter personally to, to uh, uh, Buhari saying, allow the people's will to prevail. If we understand that there is any manipulation with this election, all your houses abroad will be confiscated, accounts and all that. As if that was not, <laughs> is not enough, enough sounding of warning, the United Kingdom joined. You know, these are the people who gave us, you know, our colonial masters. They sent a message. The ones in Italy, Canada, all over. You could see Edo members. This was nobody doing it. So this is just God moving people to begin to walk in his favor. Do you understand? You see Edo's sons and daughters abroad saying, we are neither APC or PDP. We don't care. We want the rule of the people to stand. Whoever the people chooses, if it's Obaseki, if it's Ize Yamu, whoever they choose, we stand by their decision. But on no circumstances or on no account should the will of the people be circumvented. I'd time. see if that was not enough. Guess what? Hmm. Before you could say Jack Robinson, you know, even in Nigeria, Osho Mole himself made a mistake. What do I mean? He went to see uh, Muhammad Buhari. Him and his chief of staff, you know, after seeing Muhammad Buhari, all related to the election, they were walking back and they were having a discussion. Guess what? Nobody knows exactly who, 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 who takes their conversation. And guess what? The conversation began to make rounds. That Oshomole was planning to, you know, Oshomole was planning to cause trouble in APC and uh, has position. And guess what? It was like, <clears throat> before you could say Jack Robinson, it was like a wildfire. The whole world was responding. And if you can look at the Edo's election, for the first time, every Tom, Dick and Harry could say, the will of the people of Edo State prevail. What are we talking about? So, I mean, leave us a comment. Let's hear your thoughts.